Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the SCP memes video, where I uh, cover the last two weeks in memes from the SCP community. Uh, specifically from the dank memes from Sat19 subreddit. If you want to see these or any of the rest of the memes I'm doing, go over to the uh, dank memes from Sat19 subreddit and check them out. They got some good stuff over there, most of the time. When you see a cool concept on the sandbox, but it ignores even the most basic wiki.formatting formatting rules, it's good, but at what costs? Um, ideas are worthless. Concepts are mostly worthless. Um, I mean, if you can come up with a good pitch for something, that's great, but like until you write it, and if you don't write it well, then it doesn't really matter. But until you write it, it's worthless. Ideas are worthless until they're on paper so doesn't matter i love this idea that like oh my god someone has such a cool concept i wish someone would like when everyone goes i have a great idea i wish someone would write it for me or i have a cool concept but i wish someone would write it nobody's gonna write it but you because the concept and idea have no value inherently it's not a bunch of great writers out there that have trouble coming up with ideas Every writer out there, and especially the best ones, who I'm not, I'm not saying I'm one of them, but all the writers out there, and the, especially the best ones, have an idea in the back of their head that they want to write already, <laughs> that they want to do, that they may not have an opportunity to do because it's too complex or too uh, high, they think it's too high concept for the current uh, venue or media that they're doing. Everyone's got ideas. It's the actual execution and the work that you put behind it that actually matters. When Mount Yellowstone erupts and a K-class scenario occurs right after, oh no, remember us. I mean, if... Okay, first of all, Mount Yellowstone is a bit of a misleading way to put it. Uh, you're thinking of the Yellowstone Caldara, which is a series of mountains in Yellowstone as part of the Yellowstone... It's complicated, but re regardless... Uh, if Yellowstone goes off, I feel as though we may, n it, it doesn't matter that it is itself a K-class scenario, m much less something else extra. When you're hours deep in reading SCP articles and you make sure the creepy sound you heard was a quirk of the article and not a monster coming for you. I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say you have me to blame for that because I'm sure everyone else would have figured it out eventually anyway, but I'm pretty sure the earliest surviving article on the SCP wiki, and there may be others now that have been uh, added in the earlier times, but edited in probably afterwards. But the earliest article on the SCP wiki with autoplay uh, is probably uh, mine from series three, uh, which I stole specifically from an author page that somebody put up uh, <laughs> when they didn't actually have any articles on the website, but they put up something that had this really obnoxious thing playing in the background. And I was like, wait, you can do auto playing audio. And so I wrote, I want to say, is it 2131? Ah, here it is. 2413. Uh, that was back in. Oh, somebody edited something. License box. That's new. Anyway, back in 2014, December. One of the very first things I wrote, actually. Yeah, way back when. And then. My, f my favorite iteration of that is probably in uh, this thing A Quiet Madness made uh, where I remember reading it and uh, seeing that it said something about how <laughs> the uh, you would hear in your right ear, yeah, it's your right ear, a, a, a voice going, hello? And um, <laughs> I went to Cactus immediately after finishing it and going, hey, you know what would be really cool? is if that actually happened and then I, he's like can you do that and i'm like absolutely and i put it in <laughs> he let me he said go ahead and i put it in and now the thing <laughs> automatically plays a hello in your right ear mm, i think it's about a minute maybe two minutes after you've loaded the page if you've got sound up um and a lot of people uh have been shockingly freaked out by that which is sort of the point i guess uh but i'll tell you the truth i don't startle easily that article has startled me more often than not with my own voice because i continuously because since it's, it's something i contributed to it every once in a while i load it back up and every once in a while i load it back up and i put it on a tab that i'm not <laughs> paying attention to and then like after a minute a minute and a half i'm like ah 
What is that? It's me. Every time. Every time. Not every time, but often. When the GOC finds an anomaly. Oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> I love that character from Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty is awesome. The fan base of Rick and Morty, uh, uh, at least the vocal fan base of Rick and Morty are... Oh, so terrible. Uh, the words I want to use... Uh, dog shit. Just dog shit people, mostly. Not all, obviously. Because I'm awesome. And I'm sure there are other awesome people out there. But God, the vocal, like, loud, loudest ones... Oh my God, just enjoy it. It's cartoon for... It's It's got its whatever, but it's, it, you know, it's a cartoon for enjoyment, not for whatever the fuck's wrong with you. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> what I watched and read. Exploring the Foundation. Major relaxing. What I expected. War for... Yeah, this is true of a lot of people. <laughs> when, a lot of people read the... Like or see the offsite uh, media and be like, ah, the SCP Foundation is all about tactical this, that, and the other thing. And then, then like they go in and they're like, oh, emotional, sad things. I see. When the SCP Foundation visits the Wanderer's Library, huh? I wonder who that's for. Yeah, uh, the SCP Foundation is banned. Isn't they They're banned from the Wanderer's Library. They don't care. You can't ban us from the library. <laughs> All of the homeless people I've seen in the library proves that's just impossible. Truth hole. Not everyone who likes Series 1 SCPs are normies. This must be sealed. I, I mean, normies? I guess it's the idea that you have to be special to be, like to matter i guess but there's nothing wrong with being like other people um most people are like other people and in fact <laughs> i mean like the only shared <laughs> the only <laughs> if you really really think about it we're all unique in our own special ways which means we're all the fucking same because we're all unique <laughs> we could we could go back and forth on that paradox i never understood the terminology of normies is some sort of an insult to people you're like everyone else but anyway um even if you were to take it as a negative um like there may be people out there that are getting down on people that enjoy series one scps that's not really the point the point is you can like a series one scp you can like many series one scps but please read the rest that's all it's an invitation to people to participate more in the community, not less. Little Caesar's Hot and Ready Pizza. On the one hand, infinite pizza. On the other hand, painful, agonizing, redacted. This was, uh, what if you had one wish and you wished... If you could wish for one SCP to be real, but it would be random, would you do it? Um, no. Many... The... the, the so it's not the the like the Scarlet King or the I'm sorry the the Hain King's tragedy or the mask or the plague doctor or the one you can't talk about that are the ones you should worry about it's all of the world ending problems um the catastrophic cost is not worth the very small gains you're going to get. And second of all, even if you were to get, say, a, say SCP-500 becomes the one that you get real, you're not getting any of them. Anyway. Church of the Broken God, Sarcasisms, SCP fans, Children of the Scarlet King, Fifthism. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. There's an, Austra <laughs> uh, there's an Australian Church of Australia GOC. Not GOC, GOI. I mean, hmm. Um, Children of the Scarlet King is such a, it's such an unwieldy and terrible name. Why not something like the Crimson Cult? I, I don't know. It just seems like a bad name. Anyway, the Church of the Broken God just, I, it's funny because it's exactly what Church of the Broken God. Yeah. It, well, it's not quite the same number of syllables, but Children of the Scarlet King and Church of the Broken God are not too far apart, but one... One definitely feels better. Church of the Broken God. 
like that, that that pops but children of the scarlet king i mean that's something that doesn't sound original it doesn't sound interesting to me it, and the fact that it's such a long name means it's difficult for people to remember and pick something shorter and then look at the fifthism fifthism just fell off the map because i think a lot of people just don't know how to write for it as for the other ones uh well they're very niche in fact one of them i didn't even know about I know Church of the Broken God and Sarcasism are very popular GOIs, but <laughs> I don't pay any attention to them at all, period. I'll say I, I paid some attention to Church of the Broken God because I've worked in things that are like Church of the Broken God adjacent. Uh, but Sarcasism have no idea top to bottom what it's about, what's going on in it just completely uninformed and this is the problem as somebody who is who considers himself an expert on many things scp there are parts of the scp wiki that are just outside my realm of expertise because i don't like body horror and a lot of sarcasm at least early sarcasm was body horror it's the same reason i've never read the third law canon even though i've read like some tales set in it like this is the same thing with sarcasm i'm sure i've read some articles and some uh, tales set in that using that group the problem is is that i have this early first impression of them so like third law our first green wolf articles i read were so boring and i know that uh, a random day did some better work later but green wolf still as far as i know still pumps out third law articles and i fucking won't read a single one of them now because of the 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 reputation that in my mind that it earned early on and i won't generally read third law unless somebody pokes it at me uh it's like hey read my article uh same thing with sarcasm like i don't even know if it's all about body horror anymore you would think so because it's about the flesh or whatever my favorite thing is to just mess with people and be like you know the church of the broken god and the sark cults all worship the same god i mean what is a flesh monster if not a very complex machine anyway I believe that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. I'm talking to you, Pamela. You've been sub you've been watching my videos and you haven't been subscribed. Maybe this is your first one. Maybe it's your 10th one. It doesn't matter. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not angry. I may seem angry. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Hit the subscribe button and I'll be a little less disappointed. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It is wonderful to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.